Somebody told me that they wish they could experience me in my most undesirable aspects when I'm road raging and I'm fighting for the last XS item of the dress that I want on sales. I told him that probably that's never gonna be possible because chances are that when he's in my presence, I will never allow myself to like swear like a sailor when I'm driving. I will only display the aspects that I feel are pretty and lovable. And that made me think that probably social media's unconscious purpose was to portray all of us in our complexity, in our multitude of facets, because that's what we secretly all aim, to be loved for everything that we are and everything that we do not portray, but makes part of who we are and is somehow peripherally witnessed by other people. Like when I share this moment of intimacy with my cat and we are head to head and he puts his little paw on me and he starts licking my nose, that's his sign of affection. And I'm thinking this moment of intimacy, nobody else but me and him <laughs> will be able to ever witness because chances are that if there is somebody else in the room, I will start being aware of that external gaze and I will somehow manufacture my behavior in that specific context. The most beautiful pictures that I've ever had were the pictures that were taken candidly when I was not paying attention. They introduced me to this intimate universe that the person who was behind the camera was recognizing in who I was being in that very moment. I appreciate less the moments where I'm posing in front of the camera. I'm very familiar with that aspect of me. Several years ago, I had this business idea. I was thinking of hiring a photographer and a storyteller to accompany people. And then at the end of maybe a 30 day journey or a 60 day journey, they would get a photo album of how this particular photographer depicted their being in their daily life. And then the storyteller would write the story that came to life through their interaction and through their witnessing this person. I think that secretly we all hope to be loved for everything that we are. And more so, it feels so uniquely magnificent when somebody sees us for that what we do not want to show and they tell us that we are beautiful and lovable exactly for that what we so purposefully put so much effort into hiding and keeping away from the external gaze. I wish for you moments of deep intimacy when the time elongates and it feels that you are deeply into this spaciousness of the present moment when you look into somebody else's eyes and somehow time and space vanish because you are so deeply present into that intimate moment that you are creating with another human being.